you know, with the netball being finally allowed to be on our screens. I mean, talking about dreaming growing up, I love netball, it was my sport. Um, you couldn't ever see it on telly. I wept last year when I saw my daughter, who also loved netball, watching it on telly for the first time, screaming at the telly. And her boyfriend was going, what's going wrong with her? She's gone mad. I said, it's her sport. She's 25. It's the first time she's seen it on telly. But we found out that despite all of this uh, televised coverage now, it's still only a pathetic amount compared to the men, but it's there. Um, we are finding that parents think that their girls' um, priority is to look good, to be careful. That's the thing that parents say much more to girls than boys, even when they're two. They would say, be careful more. Um, and the boys are there to be wild boys and play and be outside always. We're sort of told, we've got to be careful, stay neat, matters more what we look like. And, and actually, we all grow up there. We don't realise what it's doing. But if someone says to you, be careful, when you really didn't need to be, you are instilled with a sense of fear and you don't understand where it's coming from. And so you grow up being slightly more afraid. You're not even sure what of, because your parents have said, be careful so much when you're tiny, you know, far more than your brother. Um, and so, and then we're put off sport because they're basically, boys who are rubbish at sport, I feel really sorry for them, because boys are basically told your life is worthless without being good at sport. There's so, so much pressure put on boys to be good at sport. And then you land these two little kids in the playground, you know, you were about 13, whatever. so eight years ago when you started school, you get these boys landing in the playground, boys, girls landing in the playground. The boys have been, you know, their parents have been training them up for that moment for the, you know, since they were born, so that they can prove how great they are in the, in the, and they're better, they actually have more skills. This is the thing, by then they, on average, have more skills because they've been trained up. The girls land without very many skills and then they're put together and the boys kick us off the playground so they can play football better. I still feel that way when I go into a gym now. I don't know if you guys feel this way, but you know, when you go into a gym, you know, the weights are at the back of the thing and you're like, I still want to go over there. You know, I've played in World Cups, I've played for England, but I still feel, so I can't imagine it's how that really must... your place, is it? No, That's because they're like slamming like down weights really and I'm like, yeah. I feel inadequate. But it's like, imagine someone like myself who's pretty confident. It'd be quite difficult for, for you know, young girls and females that are not as confident going into those spaces, wouldn't yeah. it? So by the time, basically, I'm, I'm going on a bit, but I mean, the Keep fact going. is, yeah. the fact <laughs> is that we are brought up to think that men own sport, that men own it, that it's their thing. And actually what sport is all about is fun. So isn't that a bit rubbish that we're taught to say men have fun, we do the housework. Well, that's not great. So um, we're kind of pushing back against that and saying sport can be fun if we're just allowed to do it our way and we're allowed to do the sports we want to do. And, and then you can actually draw and you talk about teamwork amazing life skills from sport, amazing. And you know, obviously being able to swim is a fundamental, feeling strong, but playing in a team, you actually learn what you need in, in an office, you know, in a team environment when you're at work, because you learn all sorts of things, like if you mess up and how people are gonna treat you and how to look after people who mess up or that sort of sense of, of communication between each other to make sure you can do the, the job better. So masses of life skills that you learn. What? We've got to we've got to shift this, and we've got to stop basically stereotyping, which is what I'm talking about.